so I have done a little configuration for our application I have created a server let review that test and I have made the uh, default authentication of level also as you know you can use the the command of PHP or send make art and make the authentication so now we have we are using the Vue.js what uh, I want to tell you is that we will start from the basic if you know the these are very uh, easy things feel free to skip the video because I assume some people do not know the uh, uh, the basic of Vue.js and Laravel that's why both of them will combine of course it is not a Vue.js course it is what we combine with Laravel and we are not going to discuss the things in details of Vue.js but we will discuss how you can use them in Laravel and your Laravel application so the first thing you should know is that you must have the developer uh, the view dev tool if you if you don't know go to the uh, Chrome extension and search for the uh, view dev tool and install it that way you can if you open the uh, inspect element here you will have your uh, once we uh, start developing our application you will have access to the level uh, to the view uh, dev tool here that way you can start developing your application easily and it will give you a lot of easy way to debug to see how we, your code is working and all of those things so you must have it installed in your system next thing you should know is that in our application here I have done some other codes like default string for the uh, for my SQL problem you know on Windows if you uh, migrate your database they will give you an error so I have just fixed the error of migrating database to that's why uh, these are the things you should know for the basic next step you should know is that now in our view if I refresh it we have our uh, yes we have our layout we have our app.blade.php as you can see we have our CSS file here and the JavaScript at the top that way everything is working just fine because uh, by default they come with the with Laravel fresh installation but down here we have the idea of app it means uh, anything inside the this div will be included to the to the our uh, Vue.js component uh, Vue.js file uh, as you know in the app.js we are selecting the app ID it means anything inside the app will be inside the will be wrapped inside the Vue.js selector here so everything here will work as Vue.js and everything outside this one will not work if you write uh, anything related to view here so that's why it is necessary to know this one here for this uh, video we will create a we will talk about the component and how you can separate your code into components so that later you can use them uh, for now as you know we have an example component here when you create your component uh, you should put them in folders for now it is just example component for the future uses feel free to just create a folder for your element separately for the navigation like the navigation is element for pages separate that way your code will be uh, easily readable in the future you feel free to put everything here but that is the best practice to create folder for everything separately that way your code will look a lot clean if you look at that uh, a few months later for, for example we have a pages here and we will create some elements inside this one we will put all our element and inside the pages we will have some page component which have different pages in our application for now it's just fine you can use the example component here so let's see me explain a little about the component the component here a, a component in Vue.js simply it means every single block of your uh, your website for example this is a card in in uh, bootstrap 4 think of this as one component card is one component navigation could be another component the footer should uh, would be another component or any sidebar or any other thing that's why you can separate your code by component you can write your template here everything related to HTML make sure it uh, uh, you have your template and then you have a parent tag here which is the container inside the parent you have all your HTML code that would be here for for now we have an example component here and the name of the component would be always written here when you are 
creating your component view that component the example component it means now i can use the example component in my application it means anything inside this one you can write it uh, like an html tag example component is now available as html tag if i copy this one and coming to my home page here we have login we have uh, the the card and everything it is similar to the component as you know if i open the example component uh, they are using co um, the card default they have the example so what if i come to the home page here and you know the card will start here and finish here so i will use the example component uh, here also and close it this time if i come and refresh the page it should show up here as you can see example component it does not have any styling if i come for now as you can see it is example component and if i open the component it does not have any specific style they have card we have card default and if you want to give them a little bit of styling you can just add your classes here for now if i see it does not have any any design anytime anytime you bring any changes make sure you recompile them how you compile them so let's open the application here and in the background i will just open a powershell command here and run the npm run watch when you are running this command it will recompile and watch for the changes in your file every time you bring any changes it will just uh, rerun the command for now as you might know we have a little problem here if you run this one npm run watch and watch will look for development as you know we have a little problem so the uh, the reason is we don't have the node module folder here anytime you install your application make sure you run the npm install it will go through the all packages and install them because we do not have them that's why it gave us an error and besides it give uh, it does not show the proper styling for our component so i run the command of npm install it will install all the necessary packages that we have discussed uh, previously here in the package we have all of these packages now it should create a folder for us node module and our directory and download all the packages we need it will take a while so we will pause the video until they install everything as you can see our installation is done now now you can run your command of npm run watch i will show you how watch is working just a second if when you are running the npm run watch it is going to use the the script here as you know if you open the command the package that json here you have the watch the dev here which is development the watch the watch pool you have hot we'll discuss all of them we have prod means the shortcut for the production uh, for development you can run it will just run the the um, it will just compile the file and do nothing when you run the watch it will look for the file any changes and it will rerun again if you bring any changes when you are developing your application make sure you run the watch because it will just look for the changes and recompile it in a second that's why so we should uh, when you run the command and it will take a little while to compile that so we'll, we will wait until they compile the file that way when uh, when you come here you make sure your heart reload because sometimes uh, it's just uh, save them as a cache and it that's why some sometimes it is not working the way to uh hard reload is control shift or would hard reload your uh, uh website if you uh, as you can see we have successfully compiled the file and if you inspect element make sure the developer tool is open when the developer tool is open you can right click on the uh, refresh uh, icon here and as you can see hard load is here Control shift r and it will just bring all our C uh, javascript and css file that we have compiled as you know when you compile the file all of the new file will be saved in the public directory here css will be saved here and the javascript file will be saved here these are the basic of uh, Laravel you might know these things but you should know that they are using the Laravel mix to do all of these things so as you can see now both components are working as we expected it is working as uh, it looks now you can bring some changes for example it is justified to the center uh, as you can see that is the difference 
if you copy that uh, if you uh, just remove it save it as you can see this is a javascript file and that's why it will recompile our file refresh the page it will appear here and the other thing you should know is that all your, your view file will have the extension of that view you can have uh, as many components as you want in this uh, directory again you can have your style also here if you have any specific style for your component you can write this this style is, this style is here and all the logic will be written here we'll discuss about them later in this series so i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to build ask below the video in the next videos we will discuss more about how you can use uh, axios how you can use event how you can do a lot of cool thing with the vue.js and Laravel. thank you for watching